hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in today's video you will learn about a platform called Rapprelate where you can write code on a browser compile it run it test it and publish it as well you don't have to install any programming language or code editor softwares nothing you just open your browser write the code run the code test the code and the work is done it is deployed as well so let's get started this is going to be a very exciting video here i am on my replit account you need to create account with replit since i have gone past to that step i am not able to show you but it's fairly simple process once you log in into replit you will see this kind of ui where there are uh, trending replit created by community here you will see create replit or on the top right you will see new replit when you click on any of these buttons it will pop open a window first it will ask you to choose your stack so there are so many stacks available i'll use python for this demonstration purpose and I'll title it like demo python server. I'll hit create replit. It will take few seconds to initialize the server and everything. Once it is initialized, you'll see on the left side, there are some tools and there are files like a code editor where you can create a folder create a file on the middle part there is a code editor where you can write code one interesting thing is that i'm writing code for python then uh, this code editor will support you know syntax and it will also you know format the code as well on this side there is a console and there is a cell so here in the cell you can install packages and things like that and in the console you can see the output of the code that you write so for getting started i'll write a code like print hello world and when i run it hopefully we will see the result in the console so now i will create a flask server for that, I'll go to shell and I'll install flask. Yeah, it is installed. Now here, I'll create a folder SRC. Inside that, I'll create a file main.py and I will rename this file as run.py. So run.py will be my entry point. Main.py will be my server. So here I'll open run.py and main.py. Here I will import flask from flask import flask and I'll create an app using flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore and i'll create our first route app dot route that will be our home route and methods will be get and post and i'll create function and i will return uh, okay 200 and in the run dot pi i will from src dot main import app and i'll say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then app dot run and i'll say host 
equals to 0 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll say my port number is let's say 5000 and I'll say debug equals to true. I'll save this. Now I will run the file using this run command. So I think there is a problem that I need to uh, make sure that I keep the name main.py because that is the one which is going to be called. So I'll restructure this. Hopefully this will work now. Yeah, you can see our server is has started and we see the status. Okay. Now our server is started and you can see that we have a URL as well. You can copy that URL and let me run it in my browser. Hopefully you will receive a OK status here. Yeah, it is working and you can see we got OK status. Here I would like to show you one interesting thing. There is a secret and the secret is a kind of environment variables. So for example, let's say my key is something and I have value and I'll add this secret file. Now we can access this secret file in our application by first we need to install a package. So I'll install pip install python dot env. Yeah, once that is installed, what I can do is that uh, I can say from uh, dot env import load dot env and I'll say load dot env and I also need OS. So I'll say import OS and here I can just uh, print uh, OS dot get env uh, my key name is key so it will fetch the key for us so if I go to console and if I run it again you can see we got value printed here so in this way you can pass secret into the platform and use it in your code so I guess this is it for this part of the video and in the upcoming part we will use uh, this platform to connect with uh, Dialogflow webhook. So stay tuned for few videos coming on my channel. If you like my work, please consider subscribing to my channel. It helps. Thank you for watching. Peace.